Hi guys, it's Fox Love from Team Burn, and today we've got a domination gameplay on the map Interchange. Uh, we've also got uh, this is the intro video to a new member of Team Burn. I say new member, um, he's been around for a little while. Uh, the guy's called is Walshaw. That's his badge on the screen now. Uh, you'll be seeing quite a few gameplays from him. Um, the reason this is his intro video is it's an absolute beast of a gameplay. It's really, really good. As far as I'm aware, up to now, this is the highest KD um, of anyone on Team Burn. Certainly that I know about. Uh, there may be a higher one knocking about somewhere, but as far as I know, this is, this is the highest one. Uh, he has an absolute raging gameplay, really, really good. And um, we've been looking for an intro video for him for a while, and we'll show you know he, he texts us saying you need to put this up, Fox. This is the one I want to use. So decided to put it up. Um, we've, we're starting to really like interchange. It's getting one of the best maps now. We've learned how to uh, manipulate the spawns on this now to basically. Um, for those of you that don't know, if you if you capture C and B, you can have it really abuse a spawn trap where you spawn trap in here. One of the spots which is where Walshaw is now, hiding behind that, you've got a little bit of cover behind that concrete pillar. And uh, you can kill them coming from the air flag either to the right or left of that sort of upturned, burned out car in front of him there. He's going around there with, I believe that's the MPL7. Um, it is silenced, it is golden, so he uses it quite a lot. It is a really good gun, not one of my favourites, I don't tend to use it, I'm more of an assault rifle kind of guy, but uh, that's what uh, Walshaw uses, and he uses it to the, definitely the full of its advantage, so manages to get his um, his chopper out there, unfortunately falls a little bit short of his uh, Pavlo, sorry, his uh, Reaper. Now we did watch the kill cam there, um, it is a, a tip that I really want to... Uh, what it sort of tell people about you don't realize how good it is till it's gone and that's watching the kill cams the kill cams on this show you exactly what you did wrong and what you looked like when while you were doing it wrong so if you're thinking your head glitching and, and you get shot quite easily i would say look watch the kill cam have a look exactly what he saw while he was shooting you um, the reason I say you don't know what it's like till it's gone is we've been playing hardcore mode a lot recently and you don't get the kill cams in hardcore mode so you'll just all of a sudden just die out of the middle of nowhere and not know why and it's it's really annoying and not having kill cams obviously doesn't show that. So as you can see there he's managed to pick up someone else's, um, I think that's an ACI he's picked up and he's he's absolute beast and again this is a... Uh, what the sort of the second of the uh, of the three positions you need to be in a spawn trap on the air flag. They just, they just sitting ducks going around. Managed to get his uh, second shitty chopper out there, and uh, he's seen his mate completely collapse. But I believe he's got marksman on, and uh, quite happily just mows them down with the red name through the smoke there. Uh, the third one, uh, if you're wondering, is just where he's looking there now. Uh, there's a little path through the the roadworks. And that's usually where they come out. That's usually I sit, I sit back there with the sniper rifle and I pick them off. Um, we've got a couple of gameplays where it's the only real map that I tend to use my sniper rifle on and I do enjoy doing it. I um, managed to get a collateral the other day and I've gotten quite a few headshots and, and perfection perfectionist uh, emblems by doing it. And uh, yeah, we really like it. So there we go. He's gone from his Reaper to his Pavlo. Pavlo, fantastic kill streak. Didn't like it in Modern Warfare 2. Didn't get that many kills for me, um, and also I thought it was quite actually difficult to get. I never used to rock with a team, Modern Warfare 2, so I used to die a lot more. Um, but uh, Modern Warfare 3, yeah, it's a good kill streak. It's quite hard to kill. I think it's either, I don't know if it's two or three stingers, I forget now. It's definitely definitely two or more. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really hard to take it out. You've got to concentrate, and it seems as if... Um, if you get shot by the shitty chopper, the, the one that you get on a 7 kill streak, you, you see your body going red, you can kind of get out of it sometimes if you get behind cover. A pair of low, as soon as it hits you, you're dead. Um, so yeah, it's, it's one of the best kill streaks. Ooh, that was nice. Didn't even see him over that fire truck there and he managed to get him. Yeah, so, yeah. And also he's using the Reaper on this as well. Um, not a big fan of the Reaper. Uh, the reason for that is um, I don't like kill streaks that take you out of your body because while you're out of your body you're getting shot, you're getting maimed, you're getting killed, you're getting ras raped, whatever you want to call it. But um, Walshaw likes the Reaper. Um, I'm sorry to say this, it, it isn't the best Reaper I've ever seen. Um, I don't like the Reaper on this map. The reason is it's so hard to get kills with it. I mean he picks one up there. But it's so easy to get under roads, get get the places out of the way of the rockets, etc., etc., and um, 
I just don't like using it at all. We did a a, a gameplay on um, Black Ops showing you the, what kill streaks to use on what maps, and um, I said in the map summit, if you, everyone can remember that map, um, that a chopper gunner on there is actually quite rubbish. You're better off saving it up for a sentry gun, and the sentry guns just rape on that map. I think it's the same with this. Personally, I think a sentry gun place well on this map is much more effective than the Reaper. But uh, it's what Walshaw had at the time. It was a nine kill streak. He deserved to get it. And he did pick up a few kills with it. Um, as you can see there, he hasn't died for a while. Um, he has only died the once so far in this match. And I am going to spoil it for you. That is the only time he dies in this match. Uh, it was an absolute beast gameplay. We had, I don't know if it was a full team burn in there, but there was certainly a few of us. I, I was definitely in this match. And we were screaming at him, uh, thinking he was going to get the Moab. And another spoiler alert, unfortunately, he doesn't get the Moab. And he's so close, you've no idea. He gets his personal best uh, kill streak. And it's 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 right up there. It's more kills than he needed for Moab, unfortunately. Some of the kills he got to get it, um, he did use his kill streaks for. So they don't count. It has to be with your gun only. So he's getting his second shitty chopper from that kill streak out. Uh, so as you can see there, he's now on the 14 kill streak. And as I say, it's just an absolute beast of a game. But I really enjoy it now. Walshaw, um, he works with us. We know him in real life, and it's quite funny how we sort of became a team member. We were, we were sat talking one day, myself and Evil Noodle at work, and and we're about sort of the things that we do in the YouTube channels. And he kind of said, "Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard of this Modern Warfare 3." And I, I do play it every now and again. Do you mind if I play with you guys? We're like, "Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, what's your name?" So we added him, and and. Uh, We've seen him a couple of times, um, me and I think Clark he was playing and Noodle was playing and he uh, he joined and he was on the other team and he was absolutely raping us, like, you know them people who were just strafe shooting side to side, drop shotting you, knew exactly where you were, just killing you straight away, this was the person on his team, clear, won a clear 20 kills above anyone else on his team, unfortunately he did lose because he, was, he wasn't with the best team players but he was absolute beast. Then we realised, obviously, who it was. We recognised the name Walshaw, right? Part up with him, and since then he's been a, a really good slayer of the team. But again, he's not afraid to to stick in with the team. He is going to be out there capturing points. He's out there capturing flags, etc. He knows what he's doing as a team. He's on the microphone. He's telling telling people where he's at, what he's doing, if he's being killed, which is very, <laughs> not very likely he gets killed. He, he's yeah, he's had the best KD, as I say, of anyone in Team Burn, as far as I'm aware, up to date. So the benchmark has been set now for everyone in Team Burn to get it. We're, um, we are trying still to get that Moab. I wanted to talk about the Moab a little bit. I'm not overly bothered about getting one. I think it is something that we need to do on the team. Don't get us wrong. It's, you know what I mean? It's a big thing now on YouTube. Uh, people want to see Moab videos, how to get them, tutorials and stuff. We prioritise winning the match over getting a Moab. So if you're on a 24 kill streak and you want to win, someone's capturing that flag and you're the nearest person, I'm sorry, but you're putting your ass on the line to get that flag back. It's just the way it is. I'm really sorry, but that's the way Team Burn play and that's the way it is. I really, really hope someone gets a Moab. I want to see one. Mr. January, um, who's also part of Team Burn now, hasn't hasn't had his intro video up yet, but he is part of Team Burn. We actually met him getting a Moab um, for us uh, on our team, and that's how he ended up joining. And uh, as far as I'm aware, he's the only person of Team Burn to get a Moab, uh, especially while we've been playing, but... There we go, game's over, 200 for 106, uh, did effectively spawn trap on the air flag here on Domination on Interchange. Uh, T, uh, it was Maiden who picked the fight up the final kill and that's the third position, there's a semi stackable bullet whizzing over his, over his shoulder there. Managed to get the double kill and there we go, he goes 48 for 1, so thank you very much for that Walshaw. Now two videos you may have missed, on the left hand side there is the intro video from a Fishnets, uh, really good again, Slay gameplay and a new Team Burn member. On the right hand side we were following around Evil Noodle, going around our village, sort of general discussion about what Team Burn was going to do in the future etc. We didn't do a passive a passive aggression gameplay we are going to get that done i promise and we are going to put that up but uh thank you very much and if you do like what you see please click on that subscribe button